Medical Tactile Incorporated presents a clinical training video for the SureTouch system narrated by Dr. Carrie Kaufman. The use of these videos is strictly for demonstration of and the clinical training on the SureTouch visual mapping system by Medical Tactile Incorporated. The use or reproduction of these videos for any other purpose is expressly prohibited without the approval of Medical Tactile. Patient number two is a female with known fibroglandular breast tissue. She has a palpable lump in the left breast in the upper outer quadrant. So this is a focus sure touch examination of that area of interest. And although this glandular tissue is lumpy and irregularly firmer than normal breast tissue, it is important to note that fibroglandular tissue will typically have a lower hardness profile than potential malignant lesions. Now let's listen in as Dr. Kaufman goes through his thought process during this short touch examination. No abnormality by physical exam, and we're confirming that area with a localized exam, a focused exam of the upper outer quadrant of the left breast at the one o'clock region uh, with this uh, examination using sure touch in this area. Typical examinations screen back and forth over the same area to look at it. We've looked at the first exam, and here on the mesh plot, uh, we will play the exam. And let's just look at it and see what we think as we go through it. We see that it almost looks like little waves are running away from us here and then back toward us. It looks like a bigger one back towards us and then back away from us. The waves are going back and forth, these small, relatively even distributed waves in this area are going back and forth. And that's an examination of screening back and forth. As you go one way, all the waves, which are glandular modularities, move in one direction, and as you go backwards, uh, the opposite way, the waves go in another direction. But we noticed that there were a couple of taller waves. So let's look at that. Uh, here, as we first start out, there seems to be a relatively larger wave, but it's just at the edge of the uh, transducer, and it comes by and then it really is gone and doesn't uh, return again. And we go back and forth. These all look the same. And then as we come back again, there seems to be a larger wave right there. Now this. If, we, if it was consistent, we might call a mass, a lump. It is certainly higher than the surrounding area on examinations, higher than all the other small ripples or waves that we see as we screen this area. Uh, and it has, seems to have a certain shape and a certain size. But what we note is that we notice this just as we started to move in this direction. Watch again. Uh, as we move in this direction, now as we go back over the same area, we don't really see that large mass. Uh, and coming back again, we don't really see it. Uh, so I think uh, we should look at this again and note that now we're coming down. And initially, we had a little bit of a mass there. Now we go back. We're just seeing normal waves. And right here, we start the opposite direction. And right there, we saw a larger wave. And what that is is the examiner, as they change directions, push down on the patient a little bit harder. And when they push down on the patient, they created this larger artifact. This is not a real mass because it doesn't persist. We examined back and forth and back and forth in this area. And only at one time, at the change of direction, did we see a slightly um, larger mass. And so this is consistent with an artifact. And as we follow it through, again, we don't see it again. What's more important to note is the multiple small waves that are coming through here, back and forth and back and forth. Those multiple small waves are very consistent with benign fibroglandular breast tissue. This is benign tissue. This is classic benign tissue, all except for this one little spot there. This is classic benign breast glandular tissue. This would be a normal exam. And one thing that we might have done at the very beginning would be to look at our settings. So if we go back up to the system in the top right and we click on that, we note that our settings are set uh, appropriately. Uh, if a 
mass developed, we would see a 40 per, we would use the 40 percent as peak calculation, which would give us a good approximation of the size of the mass. Our uh, map scale, we're using 25 as a higher level of pressure for in kilopascals. Uh, that is a good level for screening or to, to look at one area. And then if a particular spot stood out repeatedly, we might turn it down to 20. Uh, and this particular uh, scanner has a screening and a diagnostic mode. And we note that in the screening mode, uh, the maximal pressure is 25. And we click on the diagnostic mode, and we find that the maximal pressure went down to 20. And this would be good to look at one particular lump uh, that we want to characterize as far as how many peaks it has and what its size is. But to screen an area, to look in the general area to confirm whether we have a true mass in that area or not, 25 is a good number. Medical Tactile would like to extend our sincere appreciation to Dr. Carrie Kaufman, the medical director at Bellingham Breast Center in Bellingham, Washington, for his time and participation in this video. You can find out more information about the SureTouch visual mapping system and Medical Tactile Incorporated at our website at www.medicaltactile.com. Thank you.